everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 2 of Spyro, a hero's tale for the Sony PlayStation 2. So, my microphone was a little loud in the uh, last episode, so I turned it down a bit, so hopefully it's a little smoother this uh, episode. Now, which way do we have to look? Alright, so we got a firebomb down here, so we'll grab that. We got tentacles. Yeah, so this is Crocodile Swamp, and oh, we actually took damage because we got hit by bats. Stupid bats that I didn't expect to come out of nowhere, even though I should have. Though, like I said, it's been well over a decade since I've played this game. Like, and I mean well over a decade. Like, even when I was able to buy all my old gaming consoles and stuff and collect stuff, I did not have this game. This game was, like, darn near impossible to find. Is that really just a dark crystal thing right there? Oh, look, a crocodile. I thought they were Norks stealing or doing everything around here. Why are there... Okay, whatever. How did you miss that, Spyro? Destroy it! Yeah. And with that, the land is healing. Also, uh, we have three dark gems, eight eggs, and ten light gems. Interesting. Now, I know there's a money bags there, but the thing, thing with that money bags is it's kind of interesting, because whenever you see a money bags teleporter, guess what that means? That means he's going to upcharge you a fee. Yeah, he actually charges you extra for these portal things. And Hello, Spyro. This is a remote shop, man. You can get things here for the same price you will get in the bank shop. Plus shipping, destination charge, convenience fee, and teleport taxis. <laughs> be shopping. Also, uh, another tip that he doesn't tell you is these actually allow you to... Uh, That's actually not bad. We'll buy one of those. Wallet. What's that? Allows you to teleport to a previously activated remote shop pad. Top quality. Yeah, I was gonna say, they allow you to teleport to places too. I wonder if it has... Ah, there you are. I guess... I guess only the main one lets you teleport for free. But anyways, we can now go up here. So let's see what we got going on up on... Oh, I do not like that. I do not like that you can't, uh... Just, ho like, let go of your hover. Or, um... Not let go of your hover. Uh, what's it called? Friggin... Uh... No. Hover is exactly what the thing I'm talking about. It's where, like, when you're done gliding, you just... You know. Can let go. It just stops you. It doesn't... Like, you don't have to rely on... Uh, is that spider gonna shoot me with its web? Also, that spider didn't drop any gems. What a disappointment. Are these the enemies that respawn? I don't remember. There are enemies that in this game respawn because they don't actually drop any items. Yeah, they have like a, a burrow right here. These guys, though, on the other hand, don't respawn. I think drop gems. Friggin' piranha plants from Super Mario in here. Wow, he ate that super slow. It's amazing, though. Like, even in Spiral 1, Sparks would eat the, the butterflies really slow compared to, like, Spiral 2 and 3. So it's just all dependent on what game it is. Oh, we got some gnarly platforming here with some plants. I let go, and it, like, just continued to glide there for a while. Oh, it's an egg! It's another one of these, uh, green with blue swirly ones. So that's our first egg of this world. That's pretty cool. I don't mind that. Hey, didn't I collect those gems or not? Also, can I, like... Can I not use these? No, they just don't work. So I guess there's a firework somewhere. Is there like a hidden path? I remember there being like a hidden path. I guess not. Eh, whatever. I don't know how I'm gonna get those. Maybe there's some way... Maybe we just get another power-up later on in the game. I don't remember, because you do get power-ups. Every time you go to an elder, you do get power-ups. Also, there's a cannon up there that we can't reach from here. <gasps> the cannon! That's what'll do it. Cannons. Also, spike traps. Wow, this is very Spyro-esque, don't you think? Yeah, man. Some Sometimes the things that happen in this game are kind of weird. This game was literally supposed to be a joke, though. I think they forgot that Spyro wasn't inherently supposed to be as funny as they tried making this game. Even though this game really isn't that funny. It, it's forced funny. It's a good game, but it's forced funny. You know, not like just let it flow kind of funny 
Did you just try pounding that and not doing anything? Now, this is actually suspicious, by the way. You can't really do anything here yet, but this cannon does have its usage for other than just chests. So, um, let's see here. Oh god, they're so, like, once again, floaty. Alright. I think gems don't, like, have a spawn timer. Could you imagine? Because the controls are inverted again. Now, I forget how high I actually have to shoot this. But, yeah, you can shoot the top of this. And that's a light gem. Pretty dope and steam. Wait, I can't turn all that way? Oh, this literally... Never mind. This won't actually allow us to get uh, the chests down there. So I'm confused. I uh, had to scratch my head, and it's just like, no, you're not gonna scratch your- Wait, that hit me? I hit the- Oh my god, game. It's like, oh yeah, you hit the side of the spike, you're still gonna take damage. Even though, you know, that doesn't make any sense. Touching a wood stick all of a sudden hurts you. But, thank you for the light gem, that's what, number three? There's so many in this game, man, and that's all we got. Wait, are these bats worth health, by the by the way? Oh, they are. Alright, so let's go down this pathway and see what we can find. Hey, you. I hate that you have to wait for the gems to spawn out of them, though. Hey! Professor. The Supercharge Gadget is a device that will allow you to charge with extra strength and speed find it useful for smashing through reinforced doors and breaking open strong chests. You'll need 40 light gems to power the gadget. Oh yeah, that's what we need. We need the supercharge, but there's no way with the two levels that we've been to that we'll ever have 40 gems, even if we were to 100% these levels. Also, oh that's unfair, dude. I was fighting little baby dragon wannabes down here. And Ooh, a chest. Hopefully a light gem, because we can only get 10 here and what, 10 in the other world, I think? That's another pink flowery egg. We've only found two of each of those eggs. We haven't found any other ones, but they're the more I... I know the pink one is important, because it actually gives you a pretty good, cool reward. As for the um, swirly one, I'm not entirely sure. Some of them are really lame rewards, and other ones are actually really cool rewards. So, yeah, you'll, you'll see when it comes to that point in time. But right now, we're just traveling through a swamp. At least it's not a sewer level, you know? Like, PlayStation 2 era and all the sewer levels that were always the first level outside of, like, I guess, like, the initial level. Like, the first level that you actually go to that isn't part of, like, where you start in the game is what I'm getting at. I do believe we also meet a new character here while we're at it. Oh my god, these plants are everywhere. Are you serious? I flamed him. It didn't do anything, and then he bit me, because the game... Ah, there's the money bags thing down there, and I keep forgetting you can't do the same controls you did in the original. Yeah, hey, Spyro, over here, come spend your hard-earned money that you stole from living creatures and spend it at my shop. Oh my god, in this game, he doesn't eat multiple ones. So we got the Forgotten Temple. What is going on? Shockwave increases the range of horn dive, gives it a concussive shockwave. I don't remember that, but okay. I just want the key. Alright, so, let's kill this plant off. Let's just clear out this area before we try and figure out what that switch does, because I do believe it's timed. There's a lot of timed stuff in this game. Okay, this looks like it's the way out of here, so we'll not go that way. Not yet. We do have a temple, which does have a door, so I guess we can go and look at the switch and see what it does exactly. So, I'll uh, miss it apparently, because the camera angle keeps spinning. Now I can't remember. Oh wait, no, never mind, this is the one where you need two switches. It's not timed at all, it's the dual switch one, but as for where the other switch is... I don't actually remember, because you can't get in there, because if you look, 
it's a solid door now instead of like a, a metal fence type door. Yeah, see, it's like an actual solid door. And I don't think we have that switch yet. That actually might be what's down here. A singular gem. Can I just like... Yay, hazards that aren't actually hazards because they're... Whatever. This game still beats um, Enter the Dragonfly, even though Enter the Dragonfly did have some good concept behind it. It just, it was a broken game that uh, sadly didn't get finished. Okay, there's a light gem, but this isn't uh, at all where I thought we were going. Oh yeah, you also need an elder to get up here. Sparrow, these are called spin poles instead of anything cooler than spin pole. Wait, wait, what? Luckily this game doesn't have lives because, um, yeah, I didn't know that those platforms were timed platforms because the game is just like, yeah, we're not going to tell you that. Oh yeah, you still can't charge jump in this game, so that's a thing. There we go, we made it. I'm always worried we won't make it because, like, the weird camera- I jumped game, thank you very much, Mr. Plant. And there we go. That's our fourth light gem. That's not very many light gems, honestly. Sometimes this camera angle is just... That's what ruined a lot of games. Also, how am I supposed to get that? That's just gems anyway. But where's the switch over here? Oh my god, why did you do that? Yeah, I forgot because you can't... I literally had just said it. Yeah, see, enemies do drop gems again, but they drop very little gems compared to what they used to. Like in their first initial kill. Oh yeah, all enemies respawn, and he hit me with his fireball without actually hitting me. This game and its hitboxes sometimes. Also, did you not... Um, I got hit by an enemy that wasn't even on screen. And Sparks is just terrible at picking things up. Now, where's this other switch exactly? Still looking for the Switch game. The burden of money. Sure, money bags. Sure, buddy. Why does he keep... Ah, excuse you, game. You're just being annoying now. Now I gotta buy full health. Why does he keep 360ing like that, by the way? Alright. Shut up, money bags. I know. Oh, that's the extra hit. I'm like, what? Oh, that's a lot of money. I don't think we're gonna do that. That doesn't seem worth the money. Wait. You weren't there when I came into this room, by the way. I still don't know where this, uh... Oh, it's right there. I'm an idiot. I don't know how I didn't see that, but okay, let's let's flip the switch. Egger light gem. Also, we're still missing two dark crystals. Oh no, an enemy. An enemy with floaty controls. Thank God we have a key. Let's open it. Ooh, a purple egg with a yellow zigzag and a red bottom. Interesting. Hopefully that leads to something good. Oh, yeah, that looks, um, threatening. Oh, yeah, you, you need another breath to get in here. Yeah, there's other breaths in this game, by the way. There we go, you're dead. Also, that looks suspicious that they're not moving yet. Just saying, very suspicious. And we're also on one health, so that's not at all suspicious. And, oh, look, Norks all of a sudden... 
Let me on the platform there, Mr. Norker J. Norkerson. Ooh. Wait, are those falling rocks too? They are falling rocks. Yay, that's even more fun. Ah, we made it out though. In your face game, you thought you could stop me? Now we need that money bags again. Where's that money bags? He's over here. And do not say anything, money bags. Mm. Yes, you you say the same thing every single time, dude. Give it a break. Yeah, see, like if you charge and jump, it just cuts you off. Super annoying, but it's whatever. I don't really care. I'm perfectly fine with it. All right, save point. Okay, so where do we go in here exactly that isn't there? Oh, over there. Okay, I see. So we can't get up there yet. I believe we technically get that somewhere in this part of the game. Oh yeah, there's our next character that we unlock. And we still need the Elder to get there. Oh, the Elder's here, I'm pretty sure. So might as well do this part. What happened to the other butterfly? Oh. I guess we already went through it. Can I break this? Ah, suspicious. This is our second of three dark gems. I do believe you're supposed to destroy all the dark gems, though, to actually get to the bosses of each world. Let's destroy it. All that did was open up this door, which unlocked this dragon. Spyro, darling, you mean to learn as much as you can to help you in your quest to find red? I don't know anything about red. Professor said he was someone from the past. Who is he and what did he do? Oh, such a story. How much time do you have, sweetheart? <laughs> Red was part of the Order of Dragon Elders until his jealousy and hunger for power led him to try and overthrow our leader. I'm afraid that's all I can tell you is my own confidence, bro. But before you leave, I will teach you how to pole spin. Now, to pole spin, jump onto the pole to swing over to the next pole or dismount. Just jump. You can change direction on a pole simply by turning in the opposite direction. When do they turn Magnus gay? Not that I'm complaining because he's hilarious, but when did Magnus become gay? He was he was from the uh, second world in Spiral 1. Alright, I hear some kind of sound, so there's a light gem and an egg. Okay. Yeah, yeet. Alright. Oh yeah, I forgot. Double jump. I hate that you have to double jump in this game. Like, I like Spiral 1 better for that, because you didn't have to double jump. Oh. And the game just cancelled my jump because they thought, why not? That would be funny that if you couldn't jump. And it also just refused to let me continue my jump. Alright, there's that egg, and there's this firework. Well, show me where it goes. Okay, cool. Alright, there's an enemy over there. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Let me guess, we gotta go over here? Oh, you don't even need to pulse spin to technically get the light gem. The light gem's just here, because reasons unknown. Alright, what do we got? We gotta go over here now. Oh, wait! We couldn't get up there anyway, because we needed to pulse spin, so... Never mind. It wasn't that I didn't know where it was, it's just I couldn't get it anyway. Cool. The sound effect when they die is just ridiculous. They're just like, oof. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, do I have a key? Do I have a key? Is there a way to tell if I have a key? I do have a key. I don't know why the game doesn't let me check if I have a key. It probably does, and I'm probably just missing it. Before I deal with you, though, Mr. Mole Man, he's the new character I was mentioning, by the way. Hmm. I guess we can't go up there yet, so we'll do this. Thanks for rescuing me, Spyro. My name's Blink. Blink the Mole. Mole, huh? Do you know the professor? <laughs> what? You think because I'm a mole, I must know every other mole in the world. Um, I'm just kidding ya. The professor's my uncle. He 
he built with these gloves to give me special abilities when exploring underground. Yep, I bet I'd make a great sidekick. If it weren't for my fresh aerophobia. Fresh aerophobia? That's right. I actually have a fear of not being trapped deep underground. I know. It's kind of weird. So, how about I dig a hole and do some exploring? Yeah, why not for a dragon egg? Though, I think that's where we'll end the episode. Because the blink sections can be pretty lengthy. There's completely swamped. Alright. So anyways, in the next episode, we'll continue on and do Totally Swamped. Booga booga. Remember, click the bell for notifications, join the Discord in the link below, and subscribe for more epic gaming content. Bye bye guys, have a wonderful day.